Today is not going to be a typical Tuesday, even though I am recording my podcast, my one podcast, um, Blanket Fortress. I'm not, we're not recording Let's Get Mystical this week, uh, or Tuesday this week, because we have a guest this week, so we're going to record that on Thursday. Um, but I'm also going to be going and cleaning for my uncle this afternoon. So it's, it's, it's going to kind of be a crazy, non-typical, very physical Tuesday. Um, but I just finished taking a shower. Um, and it is almost 8am. So I'm going to sit down and try to read as much of this as possible because I'm almost done. Um, and then have to take it back tomorrow morning. So I'm going to hope that I can finish this today. Um, partly this morning, partly tonight for bed. Uh, so yeah, this, there's a lot of library books I did not get to read, so I'm just going to return those. I am going to see if I can renew a couple of them, um, because there are a couple I really, really would like to read, but there's like five or six that are still going to end up getting returned on red. Um, so I'm going to see if I can renew a couple of them, but you know, that's totally their decision. So if I can't, I have a list. So yeah, I'm going to read that. I'm going to eat some breakfast. I haven't had any breakfast yet. And then I have to record the podcast and then I have to be over to my uncle's at noon because we're having lunch first. We're having some Chinese food. Yay. Uh, and then that'll be the bulk of my, my day, basically. So I'll check in with you guys later. almost done with this once upon a time little spinoff story and I'm worried because it doesn't seem like there's enough pages left for everything to be finished. I have about 50 pages left which I'll finish tonight thank goodness so this will be ready to go back to the library tomorrow and I gotta say I really kind of enjoy this size of a book because I mean I know it's like 1.5 or double space because it's young adult but even so, I think with this size, it makes it easier to get through the pages. 
Um, I don't feel like it's taking me forever to read a page. And I do have that moment sometimes with uh, regular books, regular novels. So I kind of really like this size book. And it's not something you see very often. So yeah, so that's almost done. And now it's time to go set up to record the podcast. Because it is 9.35. Ouch. I just hurt my toe. Um, And it takes a while to set up and get the cat settled. So I'm going to go do that. Grab my coffee. Beautiful day outside. But it is going to get just a little too warm here today for freaking basically the middle of November. So last week was a pretty easy week for me. <clears throat> I would consider it a good week when it comes to being an introvert, um, but that's mostly because I stayed home. And this week's inspiring message is, I'm very picky with whom I give my energy to. I prefer to reserve my time, intensity, and spirit exclusively to those who reflect sincerity. And again, that celebrity's name is Dao Vawar. Okay, podcast is done. It was actually pretty easy this week. I'm very surprised at how well everything came out. No restarts, really, aside from having to pause because the cat was eating and then I had a coughing spell. But I just wanted to point out, in case anybody is curious about my podcast setup, this is just a tote from Walmart, um, one of those foldable totes, really cheap. Actually, I think this one was from the dollar store. This is just foam, just general art foam, put on the sides to eliminate any feedback or other general sounds that might be in the room. Um, the camera is JLab, and it's a very good microphone. I believe I just said camera. It's a microphone. Um, it's a very good one. It helps with the timbre of my voice. It blocks out a lot of sound. I very much like it, and it was not that expensive. I believe I got it at Best Buy. Um, and I don't remember how much it was, but if they still have it available, I will link it down below. And then there's just my headphones, my notes, which are in my bullet journal, and the computer, the desktop I use as my kind of like studio thing. And the program that I'm using is called Zencaster. This was discovered by Miss Lynn Howard, who is my co-hostess on Let's Get Mystical, my other podcast. Um, it's very good for co-hostesses or guests it, you can have quite a few people even in the free version at a time and um there's this little raise hand thing right here so that if you have multiple people and they want to say something and you don't they don't want to interrupt or anything like that they can click on that little thing let me know that they have something to say which we will be testing out um thursday when we record let's get mystical since we will have a guest and she's going to join us for the entire show even the beginning stuff that we usually talk about so that'll be very fun she's a fellow vlogger and i cannot wait to have her on but yeah it's called zencaster it's z-e-n-c-a-s-t-r it's free unless you need it for more than just recording simple podcasts um you can also record video but i don't know if that is part of the paid version and yeah, it's pretty simple to use. You just send an invite to whoever you want on um, through their email or you can even do a copy link and send it through Facebook Messenger or however you want to do it. And it shows them like underneath my name. It'll show like in the green room and then once their equipment goes through all the health checks to make sure it's all working, they'll pop on. And you can talk to them before you start recording, which is nice because you can make sure they can hear you. You can give them a little rundown of how things are going to go. I very much like this program. And I still use it even when it's just me recording because I feel that it's more reliable than just using like a audio recording app on the computer. And also, if you see here, it allows you to do more than one recording in the same project. Um, this is when Mischief started eating and I had to stop so I could start another one and it shows them all together. You can click on each one, download each one and um, you cannot, it does say you can produce in here which I think that means you can edit and stuff but I have not tried to use that. I kind of thinking that might be part of the paid version. Um, I have not attempted to use it so I don't know for sure. I just use Audacity 
to edit my podcasts. It's not the best, but it does the job. And yeah, so that's my podcast setup. Very simple. I don't have any space where I can have an actual studio or anything. This is just, you know, bedroom slash office. So I do what I can using, you know, the foam and the tote and things to make it as much of like a studio in here as I possibly can. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm not wearing my glasses because since I'm going over to clean for my uncle, I would have to take them off anyway, so I didn't bother putting them on today. May put them on later. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do once I get home. Um, but because I can't seem to use them to wear them when I'm doing anything physical for some reason, they it makes me dizzy. I don't, I don't know. As I've said before, it's a whole big glasses thing that I just cannot figure out. But anyway, so yeah, so podcast is done being recorded. Now I have to edit it, which is the part that worries me a little bit because though it says it's like 25 minutes long in total, there was a lot of interruptions and things in there that I will have to edit out. So it may be a pretty short episode this week, which I'm not thrilled with, but it is what it is. So I'm going to get to editing that. It's 1021 now. So by the time I get this edited and all the little other things done and scheduled, it should be about time to head over to my uncle's to have lunch. And then I'll see you guys later. I don't know whether I'll check in again today. Um, just because I don't know how long it's going to take to do the cleaning. And if I'm if it's late, I'm just going to call it a night because it is Tuesday, which means it's Winchester's night. So you may see some B-roll and things, um, but I don't know whether I'll check in again. And if I don't, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I am done cleaning my uncle's old place. It is four o'clock and I need another shower. I honestly don't think office hours are gonna happen tonight. I am exhausted and I have a headache brewing. Oh, that was so much work to get that place clean. But the good news is, is I am going to be his cleaning lady every two weeks in his new place. So hopefully it will not get that bad again. So I'm just going, I'm waiting for my mom to get home so we can shoot over to Boscov's for a couple of things. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the podcast uploaded so that's ready to go for Friday. And then after we go to Boscov's and have hot dogs for dinner, I think I'm going to just crash until the Winchesters. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Heading off to return library books and run a couple other errands. Technically, I'm supposed to be on office hours right now, but after all that cleaning I did yesterday, I'm exhausted, so I told myself to start after lunch. So I'm just gonna run a couple of errands, which is exhausting on its own because my arms are killing me. Trying to drive the car is not easy. Finally able to wear long sleeves, which is great. Um, I should have worn something over this though, because it's actually still cold even with long sleeves on. Um, it's 46 degrees and 10 o'clock in the morning, as you saw. So it's probably not gonna get much warmer than that. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna head to the library now, but I'm gonna take a minute because I almost just got freaking slammed into at the Walgreens parking lot and ugh, people just don't pay attention to where they're driving these days.
library books were returned, but I forgot that they're closed on Wednesdays, so I could not renew those ones that I wanted to. So I'm just gonna have to come back at some point and check them out again. And man, the wind is doing horrible things to my hair. Um, so now I guess I am pretty much done with my errands. So it's time to head back home and finally get started with work for the day. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome too friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying It feels like I'm dying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. much today I have very limited use of my arm my right arm which is my dominant arm which sucks this is my left <laughs> even this one's a little sore but um yeah I just it's from that cleaning on Tuesday and my muscle is extremely strained so I'm not gonna be doing much today I'm just gonna sit here and rest and watch TV do some beta reading then Later in this morning, I have to record Let's Get Mystical with Lynn and our guest. Edit that, get that all set up. I don't really think I'm going to do much of anything except for when office hours come about. Um, I would love to be able to skip office hours, but I have something that's due today, so I don't have a choice. And yeah, so you might see some B-roll today, but I'm not going to be recording much so i'll see you guys tomorrow for friday the last day which will be the most exciting day of the week because i was gonna do something today that i've been wanting to do and it's just not gonna happen today with the fact that i don't have very much use of my arm so we're gonna do it tomorrow so i'll see you guys then
Office hours on Friday are 8 to 12, so I had to get started right away. But in between all that, in between all of my work, I'm gonna decorate my office slash bedroom because it's time to decorate for Christmas. I was gonna do this yesterday and then yeah, we all saw the horror show that was yesterday. And actually, you didn't even see it all because there was things that went wrong with our podcast. And I was about to freaking scream. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and again, I forgot my glasses. I'll have to put those on because I didn't wear them all day yesterday. So best to wear them today. So yeah, I want to get to work and then we're going to decorate the office together. delete the whole thing. Why is it doing that? Uh, okay. Just delete the whole thing. What the hell? Hmm. Sometimes formatting a book isn't as easy as it sounds. Glasses. <gasps> so one of the things I do for my formatting clients is manually check the indentations on the paragraphs because sometimes extra spaces get in there and things. And all this time I've been just hitting the down arrow and putting the cursor in front of it and seeing if there's any extra spaces. My dumbass <laughs> just realized that I can click in front of this the sentence and the first sentence on the page and then hold down the indentation little arrow thing and it'll put a line all the way down the page so I can see if there's extra spaces. It took me this long to figure that out. Oh my god, it's so much easier. <laughs> anyway, that's how formatting's going. <laughs> Okay, so the ebook formatting I was doing is done. I haven't done the paperback yet, but I'm gonna take a break because I need to stop looking at the screen for a little while. And I'm going to take down all of these fall Halloween decorations so that I can make room for the Christmas ones. Um, I also have to though, uh, I wanna make room for something that's coming. I'm not gonna tell you what yet because it should be coming today. Um, and I wanna make room over here somewhere. So I need to like rearrange the desk as well. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do both. So I'm going to start with taking down the decorations and then we'll see where we are. Christmas is coming. Start sending your letters off to Santa. is coming staying up late looking out the window Christmas is coming that actually didn't take that long um I do still have some stuff out on the summer desk um but I'm not gonna touch that right now I'll put that away later um so it didn't take that long to put stuff away um but I still have to this stuff over here I have to take that down and, and put it somewhere else in the room because I have a big Christmas picture that goes right there. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put that stuff. Little change of plans. Gonna quickly go with my uncle to the store and then I'll come back and finish. Okay, that took a little bit longer than expected. So I'm going to have to get back to work, finish that format, then I can get back to decorating. Spotting some sleigh rides and some jingle bells Tell all your brothers, sisters, mama and papa too Sorry the lighting is bad, but it is storming outside. Um, 
I got everything put up and I'm kind of realizing I don't have as much Christmas decorations as I thought I did for my office. So I may have to do a little shopping. So look to see if you see that in a future video. Um, but let me show you what I did. First of all, there's the storm. <laughs> Absolutely pouring. Um, so on the writing desk, I just did, I went simple. I put a little present up here on top of Sarah's books and then a little, little bow in the back and just this little penguin statue, which is technically out all year long. It's usually down here with the candles, but I just put it up with the frosted cranberry candle. This part of the desk really doesn't have much because I want to get one of these pen holders but for Christmas so I gotta go to home goods at some point um so it just has this candle holder with like Christmas lights on it. it's a little hard to see and sugar cookie uh air freshener that's all I got for there right now and I also want to get something that goes under the laptop um but I forgot I gotta put this back too because that's technically Thanksgiving since it's about pie so I'm still working on that and then over here I made space for the thing that's coming. I hope that's enough space, but we'll rearrange. Um, I got my Christmas um, coaster. This is gonna be for this thing that's over here, but I'm not exactly sure what the use is going to be for yet, but um, my wolf snow globe, which is usually out all year, I'm just gonna put it here because I moved. So I pulled my monitor forward because I was kind of like leaning forward when I was working. So I wanted that to come forward regardless. Um, and then just put some stuff behind it to hold it there. So since I did that and I moved some other stuff, I was able to put the books that I've worked on in more of an orderly row. And then when I get more of uh, Lynn's books, those are going to go there. And so, yeah, so it's, it's really dark here. Let me turn on this little light and see if it helps at all. It'll help a little. Okay. And then this is my little mini Christmas village. Just three little houses. So that's that side. And then, you know, little Christmas bows all over. This Disney um, plaque. It's really small, actually, for this area. I usually like to, like, fill this whole thing. But I don't actually have a Christmas drawing from my aunt. So we may have to get her to make me one. And then a little, little cardinal root bow. Some more bows. Nothing fantastic. I was not able to put up the Christmas painting or it's going to go up there. It's this right here. Um, I'm going to need my mom's help with that. So that'll be a later job. Then we have this little polar bear mug, which used to be for pens. But since I like that other thing for the pens, I put all of my um, like little crystal, witchy crystals and stuff in it. I moved my witch corner over here. So it's not really a corner anymore, but I moved it over here from over there to make space. And I actually kind of like it over here because this is able to be displayed better. Um, she was kind of hidden over there. So, so I moved that over here. Um, this sign, I'm going to change the wording into something Christmassy. And I'm going to put it somewhere. I don't know. I may... I may put it there and then put the plaque up higher to take more space, but I don't know yet. Um, and then I have my little Precious Moments Angel, which I was trying. It was really hard to figure out where to put her because I did not want her to get broken. Um, so there wasn't really many options. And then that's it except for this little thing that my mom found for pretty cheap. I thought it was cool. And it flickers. It's very Victorian, which I love, and it really goes with the angel, too. This is the final result. It's kind of subtle Christmas stuff, because, like, from far back here, you really can't tell. Um, so I do want to get some more stuff, but I just don't know what it's going to be because of money situations and things. Um, there's also this that I did not put out. I think I'm going to put it out on the summer desk because I just could not figure out where to put it in here. Um, so that's going to go out there. But I do think I need more Christmas decorations. So yeah, definitely a trip to the store is in order. I'm still waiting for that lovely package I'm inspecting. Um, 
I'm going to make sure that I get it the minute it's delivered because it's going to get soaked otherwise. But I think it's coming um, through the Amazon drivers and they usually bring stuff up. So that's good. Um, and then I will unbox that once it comes. But other than that, that's my day. I still have to unfortunately work um, the rest of the night because just things kept getting in the way and I have not finished my work. So it's going to be kind of a less typical Friday, which is fine. It's not like I have anything really all that big planned. It's just I usually like to take half of a Friday to kind of relax from the week before I get into the craziness of the weekend. Um, but I don't think it's going to matter too much this week because my best friend who I usually see on the weekends is on a cruise. So this weekend's pretty much open. So I don't think it's going to matter too much that I didn't get my half of Friday because aside from grocery shopping and a little bit of writing probably, I don't have much planned for this weekend. So I think it'll be fine. One other thing I did not point out because I have not placed them yet is the Christmas blankets. This one goes out in the living room on the chair that is in front of the summer desk. And this one is for my bed. So that's going to go on the bed after I get all of this crap cleaned up. Um, so yeah, those are the fi final little touches. And then, like I said, mom's got to help me put this up. It's not that I couldn't do it with a step stool. It's just that we have to, I believe, use the... Um, Velcro strips. Oh, my armor's getting a little too tired, so we're gonna do the outro while I'm sitting down. And I did not show you guys, but I'm wearing my Toy Story Christmas shirt today. I just thought I needed to get into the mood. Um, so, and Disney t-shirts. I don't know if any of you have been to Disney World, but Disney t-shirts are the softest, freaking, and most comfortable t-shirts that I have ever worn in my life. So if you haven't been, I would suggest at least getting somebody who has been or is going to shop for you because love them. But anyway, not sponsored, not even close to sponsored. If Disney sponsors me, I am going to freak out. That would be like a dream come true, but never going to happen. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, week long life video. Um, week in the life video. You know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Don't you? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Um, as of right now, I post videos every Saturday. I will be going back eventually to every Saturday and Tuesday, but right now I had to downsize to every Saturday for various life reasons. Um, but it's also becoming the holidays, which is hard to vlog twice a week. Although I will have more content because of the holidays. So it's very possible you may see a surprise video or two popping in on a Tuesday. So make sure you hit subscribe and you hit that little bell to get notified when new stuff is posted. Because if I do post on Tuesdays, chances are there's going to be no warning. So yeah, for the rest of the night, I have to just finish my work, which is mostly just editing. And it's editing a middle grade, so it's really not that much that has to be done. Um, I only have the the last um, like one third to do, so it should not take me that long. I wasn't too worried about it, and we're only having um, hot dogs for, for dinner, so it's not like I have to worry about cooking a lot of stuff. Um, but I do have to clean up my big mess now. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do my work, and then I'm going to edit this vlog because it has to go up tomorrow. I've already edited up until half of Wednesday, so I just have the rest to do and get it out for you guys. And then I have to take thumbnail pictures. I am so bad at remembering to take thumbnail pictures, which is another reason I put it on the tripod and I sat down because now I'm gonna take a thumbnail picture. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.